In this video instead of photos, I will use paintings, or paintings that were based on photos, to reimagine these works. These are the four images that I will reimagine with the use of Automatic 1111 and several AI stable diffusion models, as I did with photos in some of my previous videos. The four images are the following. This colored drawing of traditional Cretan outfit from 1930, which is a low resolution image. This black and white photo or drawing that is based on a photo, again of traditional Cretan outfit from 1900s. And these two black and white drawings that are based on photos from newly wedded couples, both are shot before the 1940s. I will start with the colored drawing of the Cretan outfit. And since it is a low resolution image, I will first use Photoshop's Super Zoom to upscale it. I do not worry about the best upscale quality, since I will generate images using AI Automatic 1111 to edit it and increase the quality of the outcome. I will use this upscaled by two times image in the image to image process in the Automatic 1111 with a relatively high denoising strength since my goal is the reimagination of it. The SD1.5 based Universe Stable checkpoint is used for these generations and as always I will use these images as layers to overlay them on top of the source image and gradually change it by revealing the parts that will improve it. The revealing process is done by masking out the layers from the generated images and use a low flow brush on the masks for better control. My only concern is to keep what I consider to be vital parts of the outfit and the colors in the knife. But I do not mind the change of the face or the surroundings. For a more details on the process you can watch some of my previous videos. For the black and white drawing of the Cretan outfit, I will first colorize it by using the ControlNet model and the Universe Stable SD1.5 checkpoint. Using a prompt without colors resulted in a generated image with predominantly blue colors. So I altered the prompt to increase the chance for a better fit colored output. So I will remove the cane since the man does not hold one and I will put that the hat is red and he has a knife in his red belt. The red color is put to match the previous colored drawing. After the second generation the colors are predominantly red and to combine these two generations I opened them in Photoshop to composite one that has both the blue and red colors. In the hat and belt I left the red color as well in the surroundings and the rest of the outfit I used the output with the blue colors. To finish this photo I did recolor some parts of the vest as yellow and for this I used Photoshop's hue and saturation layer masked for the areas I wanted to change the color. And lastly, I made a subset for the face to change it a bit, using again image to image in Automatic 1111. So this is the final image after the edits. This is the source image and the starting point, and this is the first image from where I saw the colors of the outfit. More details about the colorization process can be found in the respective video. And more details on making subsets to partially generate the image can be found in several videos including the one I link. For the last two photos I used a similar process. They have similar characteristics. Both are newlyweds couples and since one is scanned and the other was photographed from a digital camera, the resolution of the source photo is quite high. For both the photos I will start by removing scratches and dust in Photoshop by using photo restoration neural filters and mostly the remove tool. After the cleaning process I will export the photos but I will reduce the long side of the photo so it will not be huge when I run the image to image processing. So a dimension of 1536 pixels on the long side is enough. My main goal with these photos is to clean, retouch the periphery of the couples and slightly modify and improve the clothing and the faces, especially the photo that you see here. The quality was not good so I did more than one image to image generations and rolled back some changes in the process since I accidentally removed the pearl necklace. However, after some back and forth from Photoshop to Automatic 1111, I ended up with a better output. The other photo was much easier, and with fewer generations I was satisfied with the result. I improved again a bit, the eyes, the clothing and the surroundings of the couple. 
to see about a photo restoration that required a lot of back and forth and many image to image generations, you can see this previous video. To close this video, these are the source images and the final results.